Okay, wow. <laughs> oh, I look so nice and fresh. What a difference makeup makes, right? Okay, so, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, I am, oh, it's so hectic around here lately. I'm so sorry. So I just wanted to come up to uh, YouTube and I, I promise, you know that promises are comfort to a fool, so I'm so sorry. I will not be promising you anything. I'm just going to do my best to make sure that I am here more often now that I'm understanding a little bit more about what it is I'm intending to do with my channel. So let's talk about success. Yeah, it sounds so sexy. Um, <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> First thing I want to come on here and talk to you guys about is time management. Wow. Wow. Right? Right? That, that sounds like a really sexy topic. But time management is basically now become a habit for me where well, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is that I have my mind feed. Okay. I have three books that I'm reading simultaneously. I'm not going to tell you what they are just yet. Um, and I read a, a few pages of each book every day, every day. Now, depending on what day it is will depend on what I do afterwards, but basically what I do, um, after I've done my mind feed, which is about five minutes, which I try to do before my kids get up because I have a 10 month old and she wakes up like most of the time, uh, at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning. So it's real and I'm breastfeeding. So I have to make sure that I am on point at least before she gets up. If she wakes up, I still try to do my mind feed while she's awake or while she's breastfeeding. Um, after I do that, because because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for inspiration, right? You start your day off with inspiration before I check my phone, before I check my email, before I put the TV on, which I, which I don't do. Um, I make sure that I do my mind feed. So the second thing I do is I look at my list. Now, I have a list that I prepare from the night before. Okay, so this guy, his name is John Kiewick. Kiewick, I hope I'm, I'm quick. Oh, I hope I'm saying it right. I hope I'm doing him justice because I'll, I'll link it down below. Um, he talks about the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. So that's what I've been trying to practice for the past 29 days. Because statistics show that the brain makes something a habit within the span of 29 days. So... After 29 days, it will become habitual for you. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach myself a new habit, right? I'm trying to teach myself a new way of thinking and doing things. So this habit of making sure that I plan my day from the day before has really helped me to manage my time better, to complete tasks a little bit more efficiently. It's not like, you know, people just wake up and decide, Oh, I'm going to become successful. It takes practice and it takes a lot of uh, a work. The biggest part of that success and practice is making some new things habitual and getting rid of old habits that are detrimental to your success. And so, yeah, so that's one of the key things that I've done within the span of uh, 29 days. Now I'm on day 25, so it's becoming a little bit more habitual for me. I'm a little bit more intentional. But, but the harder or the bigger the change that you're trying to make in the step of success is, the harder it will be for you to, um, can be for you to make that a habit. So for me, the habit that is hardest for me to start every day is um, exercise. I know that's, that's a really big thing because, you know, I used to be an athlete and so exercise should come naturally for me, right? No. Not really because, you know, getting older and I've always had like sort of like a block on that. And so mentally I have to put myself in a state, put myself in a state of mind that I say to myself, this is important. You need this in order to be successful. You need a healthy body so that you can function at the level of which you want to get at. So that is something that has really helped me with my time management. I hope this video has been helpful for you. This is only part one, so stay tuned.